Hey everyone, Andrew Renee here for Yahoo Esports. I'm with Dunk Train from Cloud9, and we are inside NVIDIA. You guys are here for Boot Camp. So I want to know, what is Boot Camp? Uh, boot Camp for us is just an opportunity to actually get all five players of the team together in one space so we can spend more time thinking about the game, practicing the game, and building synergy even outside the game that hopefully transfers into the games when we play on tournament day. So paint a picture with words. What does like a day at boot camp look like for you guys? Well, you see, you wake up in a darkly lit hotel room because mm, the, the blinds are definitely drawn <laughs> since you don't want to see the sun come up, right? Eventually, you manage to prepare and mosey on down to the car, hit up NVIDIA, probably around lunchtime, you know, get in on the free grub. It's definitely a plus. And then it's basically practice, 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 um, head back to the hotel and chill out for a couple hours and rinse and repeat. How many scrims do you guys normally do on like an average day when you're practicing versus boot camp? So on a normal scheduled weekday, I would say we do between four and five hours of coordinated scrims, which is usually in the form of one two hour block and one three hour block or just two two hour blocks. On a boot camp day, we will probably aim for closer to seven or eight hours of scrim time, just depending on how our schedule looks and how the teams we're looking to play against, how their schedules work out. Now you guys obviously talk to each other on an ongoing basis, you know, over chat and text and things like that. You know, what is it like for you to be able to get together? Do you guys find that you change up a lot of things strategy-wise when you finally are able to be in the same room with each other? Hmm. What it really does is gives you more time to understand where the other players are coming from and where their decision making is. So you build a better synergy and game on that front. And it gives you a lot of time to refine strategies that are maybe a little more out there. So it's just more difficult to get organized than when you're all here together and you can actually, you know, sit down together and brainstorm. So you guys are going to Korea. People our age don't generally get to travel internationally like that. I mean, I've never been to Korea before. What's exciting for you about being able to get to go to tournaments like this? Well, travel is definitely one of the highlights of the job, I would say. It's one of the big reasons that I love it. So the China trip was amazing. and. Going to South Korea as a professional gamer is probably kind of like a, I don't know, a trial. It's like a really important stepping stone probably just because that's kind of like where esports got really big and it hails from almost. You're like, you think of South Korea as Seoul, that's like, oh my god, all the legendary players from StarCraft are there. There's just so much going on there. So going there is kind of like an achievement point that you get, which is pretty sick. So, our resident Heroes of the Storm expert, Dylan Walker, has told me that he doesn't have you guys pegged to win in Seoul. What do you have to say about that? I would say that he is a traitor to North America <laughs> and should be summarily <laughs> executed. Executed. Well, I didn't say it. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck in your tournament. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. And we will keep you guys updated on all things Heroes of the Storm right here on Yahoo Esports.